morning. Welcome to Kids Church. I'm just glad that you're joining us today, so have fun. Hello, friends. Welcome to the future in the year 3120. I'm so glad that you found your way to Hope Headquarters. My name is Zap, and I'm one of the pros here at Hope Headquarters, where we help others have hope by praying, remembering, and obeying God. You look like some happy helpers. Hey, while you're here in the future with me, you can become a pro at having hope and helping others too. We're gonna have a zapping good time. Now everyone who helps out here at Hope Headquarters gets to use some super cool gadgets that help us help others. Here, let me show you. These are my galaxy glasses. They help me flash back into the past and flash forward into the future. We'll try these out in a little while. Next, we have a special watch. This helps us do so many things here in the future. Let me see you point to your special watch just like mine. Oh, zappy day! Now here at Hope Headquarters, we have lots of robot friends. These robots look and act a lot like people. They even like to dance. But first, we need to start them up. We do that by singing the robot rock. Stand up and sing it with me. Nova, you're gonna fit right in with all of our robot friends. Oh hey, did you hear that sound coming from our special watches? That sound means we're getting a call from one of our robot friends right now. If we tap our watches, we can see the message. Everyone, tap your special watch with me and say Zappy Tappy. Zappy Tappy! We did it! Look everyone, this is my friend R12. Everyone, welcome R12 to Hope Headquarters by waving and saying beep bop. Beep bop! Beep bop, everyone. Zap, I had a problem and I wanted to see if you could help me solve it. My daddy bot told me that if I do my chores all week long, I will get a special prize. I have to clean my room, wash my dishes, and brush my teeth every day. I have done my chores for three days, but now I'm tired of obeying and want to give up. What's a bot to do? Oh man, R12, it sounds like your hope tank is running low. You need a little P-R-O. Friends, we need to help R12. There's a story from God's Word that is sure to help R12 have hope again. To hear a story from God's Word, the Bible, 
first, we need to turn on our listening ears. Let's turn them on together by saying click, click. Click, click. click. Great. Now everyone, put on your galaxy glasses with me and say zoot, zoot. Zoot, zoot. Flashing back to the Bible in five, four, three, two, one. This is David. Can you say, David? David? David! All his life, God gave David lots of hope as he did his best to love and obey God. When David was a little boy, he knew that God said to honor his mother and father. So when David's dad asked him to take some food to his brothers, David obeyed. God saw how David always did his best to obey and promised David that he was going to be the king one day. Now, it's time to flash forward to when David was a little older. There was someone who really wasn't happy about God's promise to make David king. His name was King Saul. He tried to hurt David so that he could never take over as king. David had to run away and hide. Can you pretend to run like David did? One time, while David was hiding, he had the chance to hurt King Saul. But David knew that God doesn't want us to hurt others. So David obeyed and let King Saul go. David remembered how God had always taken care of him and kept his promises. So he waited for God to make him the king. And flash forward. God did make David the king. Put a crown on your head like you are King David. Even when David was king, he kept obeying God. David obeyed by worshiping God being a good friend and helping the people who lived in his kingdom. He loved God and did his best to obey, but David wasn't perfect. One time, he did something he shouldn't have done. But when he did, he obeyed God by praying and asking God to forgive him and help him. David did his best to obey God without giving up. And God gave David hope that he was going to do good things. Just like David, God gives us hope as we obey. Flashtastic! God gives me hope and he gives you hope too. Say this after me. God gives. God gives. Me hope. Me hope. As I obey him. As I obey him. That story we just heard from God's word will definitely help our one too with his problem. And it can help us too. I want to play a game using our special watches to see how much you remember from our Bible story. To see our first question, everyone tap your special watch and say, Zappy Tappy. Zappy Tappy! Friends, when we flash back to David's story, we saw that when he messed up, he prayed and talked to God. When David prayed, did he say, Beep Bop? Or did he say, Help me? Help me! That's right. David prayed and asked God for help. And when he did, God helped him and gave him hope. R12, God will give you hope as you pray. Happy helpers, let's all pray with R12 right now. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Now repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. Please help me. Please help me. I love you. Amen. I love you. Amen. Look, when we prayed, it put some hope in R12's hope tank. Praying will make us all pros at having hope. Okay, to see our next question, everyone tap your special watch and say Zappy Tappy. Zappy Tappy! When David was waiting to become king, did he forget what God had promised? Or did he remember? He remembered! You've got it! David remembered that God had promised to make him king, and he remembered that God was going to take care of him like God always had. R12, God will give you hope as you remember what he has done and what he has promised to do. Happy helpers, let's give R12 some hope by telling him to remember on the count of three. 
Ready? One, two, three! Remember! Look! When R12 remembered, it put some hope in his hope tank. Remembering will make us all pros at having hope. But there is one more thing we all need to do. So to see our last question, everyone tap your special watch and say Zappy Tappy. Zappy, Zappy Tappy! Tappy! Our next question says, can we be like David and try our best to obey? Yes! That's right. David prayed, remembered, and obeyed God by doing the right things and helping others. And we can obey like that too. As David obeyed, God gave him hope. R12, you can obey God today by obeying your dad, just like David did. Keep doing your chores like your daddy bot has asked you to. And remember, if you obey, you're gonna get a special prize in the end. Happy helpers, let's tell R12 to obey on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three, obey! obey. Beep bop boop beep. Now I see there's hope for me. Next time my hope runs low, I'll just say P-R-O. See you later, Zap. See you later, R12. Look at that, happy helpers. God gave R12 hope as he prayed, remembered, and obeyed. God gives us hope too. Say that again after me. God gives. God gives. Me hope. Me hope. As I obey him. As I obey him. I'm so glad we flashed back to the Bible so that we could help R12 with this problem. Here at Hope Headquarters, we have what's called a future memory bank. That's where we send our memories to the future for the next time we need hope. Would you like to help me send R12's memories to the future memory bank? Yeah! Supernova! We can do that by saying what we learned today. Let's all say it together now. Just repeat after me. God gives. God gives. Me hope. Me hope. As I obey him. As I obey him. Happy helpers, look! We sent what we learned to the future memory bank, and now the future's looking bright. Today, we learned that God gives us hope. And hope is when we are happy, because we know that God will do good things. Let's all stand up and sing a song to show God how happy we are that he gives us hope. job! Thanks for visiting me here in the future and helping out at Hope Headquarters today. As you flash back in time, remember that God gives you and me hope as we obey Him. Stop by any time and have a zappy day!
Hey kids, I hope you guys had fun. I know I did. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.